Oh, that's a that's a big end. That's a big end. Stay pinned, please. Don't come off. This is a big end. This is a big end, guys. Let's see your face. What's up guys? Welcome back to Bendy Bang Fishing, dude. And good morning too, man. As the lakes begin to freeze up and folks prepare to ice fish, luckily us Minnesotans, we have the Mississippi River, dude. And the craziest thing is that the lakes, the river, I'm sorry, doesn't actually freeze over. So we're so blessed to have the power plant keeping the water warm and stuff. And it's actually a gold mine for smallmouth bass, but that's why I'm here today. We're gonna be chasing after some smallmouth bass. I think it's gonna be pretty crazy. So, ooh, I see fish jumping. People are catching fish. It's gonna be a good one, guys. But anyways, I'm gonna put the big camera away because cameras and waters, it's not exactly a, a great equation. But anyways, guys, enough chit-chatting. We're gonna go ahead and get everything ready and I'll see you guys on the waters. Hey, folks, let me show you exactly what we have planned. I know for sure it's a guarantee that live bait will work, but that's not too exciting for me, so I'm gonna be throwing some artificial lures only. I got the tube tied on, as you guys can see. You already know small mouths crush the tubes. And I also have like net rigs and all that stuff prepared. And I also have like a Nico rig here with like a rover worm. I don't know, I just look really sick in my fish tank. So I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure they're gonna smoke it. And over here, I got the swim bait, mag draft. You know, I'm not gonna get many bites, but dude, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a thump, dude. And plus, dude, it's a it's such an exciting bite, dude. Like, it gets kind of boring just throwing like a tube or a net rig around all day, and especially like bait. That's just not exciting for me. But right here, we got the jerk bait, re range. And um, you guys you guys know me, man. I love jerk baits. And obviously, small miles do too, you know, so. But yeah, man, I was seriously thinking of just bringing like one freaking setup. But dude, that's too boring, man. I can't just limit myself, man. I, I gotta bring the whole family. If I don't bring the whole family, I feel like I'm restricted. Thanks, bro. You too. Hey, what's your name? Richard. Richard? Hey, nice to meet you, bro. Oh my god, guys. It's getting cold as heck, man. So just stay home. Stay home, my family. Not really good. Time update, guys. It's been like two hours, man. I didn't even catch nothing yet. Then again, I usually suck at small wild fishing. People are smashing it, though. Freaking nothing. What's up? Catch any fish? Catch any fish? Man, I'm still trying to catch my first fish, man. <laughs> nothing. Whoa. We got the freaking junior in the crib. Ooh. Man, if I lose this on a pike, that would suck. Oops. I need to cross no one. This thing cannot cast far at all. Caught fish, bro. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sh it come off? No, I still want, bro. It's a freaking pike, man. All right. Really nothing. Hell yeah. Yo, this is the type of pike that takes your lures, man. First fish of the day, and it's a freaking pike. See ya, bro. Ugh, gross. I smell like piss already. Tying on this Okashira screw head with a spark shad. See if this breaks my smallmouth skunk. Mm. 
No! <laughs> that would have been terrible. Let's go, boys. Smashed! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Got him, boys. First molly of the day on the Oakashira screw head, spark shad trailer. Oh yeah. Little guy, but broke the skunk, boys. Once. See you, Mr. Bias. Alright, folks, we're back to the original spot. I am now tying the drop shot. Thank you to Sam. Now we have the spark shad. Holy crap. I've never been so dry of a fish. We're gonna make it happen, boys. We need to catch. A fish that first one did not count that is way too small to be coming out to the river to catch everything i've been throwing all day has not been working really hope this is the time otherwise this video i have to pretend like it never existed hopefully it works man oh this thing looks sick Yeah, sure. You guys done fishing for the day? Yeah. Actually, don't have anything to carry them, so we might not be able to take them. Shoot, we might not have anything to put the fish in. Oh, I think I see one right there. Right there, like a bag or something. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yo, we got live bait now, bro. These are pretty big sucker minnows, dude. Those are like. These are the expensive ones. All right, let's get to it. You know, a lot of people don't support live bait because sometimes when the fish eats the bait, they can get gut hooked and then the fish will die, you know? But fishing is fishing, you know? So can't do nothing much about it. Let's see what this live bait hype is about. Okay, guys, live bait. <laughs> this is such a torture being that fish. It's like literally like smack. <laughs> before they before they go out they're like all right i'm ready guys wish me luck hope i get eaten guys good luck sir <laughs> so funny hooked up finally a fish boys on a sucker minnow what kind of fish is this? Yeah, that's a smallie. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh, this is a fatty, guys. Oh yeah. This giant one. Right there. <laughs> Ooh. On the freaking live bait, guys. Beauty of a fish, guys. Look at this. It's on the live bait. All right, guys, look. But there's no gut hook, okay? So if you guys are watching this, thinking that these, this fish is going to die, it's perfectly fine, guys. Just got to make sure you set the hook right away. Two pounds and four ounces. See you, bro. Hooked up. There you go. Downgrading it seemed to help. Not entirely big, but yes. Nice little small guy. Small jaws. See you, buddy. Oh, that's a that's a big end. That's a big end. Stay pinned, please. Don't come off. This is a big end. This is a big end, guys. Let's see your face. I see this fish. Oh my god. It is pulling hard, guys. Oh my god. This is a giant. This is a giant. This is a 
giant guys. Ooh. Oh my god, this guy's small, he's fighting hard. This is my biggest of the day, guys. This dude is fighting so hard. Yep. Oh my goodness, guys. This is a big smallie, guys. It's crazy how strong they are in this. Uh, current dude oh sh bro dude guys sam just freaking fell in the freaking water <laughs> oh yeah he's so jacked bro yo this is this is a big ass small mouth bro look how big he is dude I got it, I gotta do it. I'll just keep playing with him. Look how big it is, bro. This is a freaking tank. And he's not done yet. Uh, uh, come on, landing skills. Oh my god, guys! Yo, this is a giant smallmouth bass, guys. Oh, the freaking live bait! Look at this, boys. This is a beautiful smallmouth bass, guys. Freaking tank, bro. Eats it as soon as it touches the, the bottom, bro. Oh, it's a fantastic fight. <laughs> you freaking fell! In the water, bro. I stepped in a boulder. I in a boulder. It's like, oh, shit. oh, you knew it was game over, huh? You gotta, you actually gotta deduct two pots from that. See that? It. That's it, bro. Like, look at this, guys. This is a beautiful smallmouth bass. Oh my god, guys! Beautiful fish. Hell yeah. Let's see how much this fish weighs, bro. Three pounds, five ounce. 19. Eight, pretty much 19. 19 inches, bro. Take a look at this beast one more time in the sunlight. Oh, such a beauty, guys. Appreciate these beautiful smallmouth bass, guys. Oh. See you, bro. Whoa, right in between my legs. Actually, still by my legs. But anyways, guys, that was some crazy stuff, guys. I think we're going to call it a day because Sam is drenched. And I am pretty much done for today, too. But that was some pretty exciting stuff, dude. All right, folks. We have finally reached the final destination. And that is back at the cars. Man, that's the first experience of fishing Monticello this year. I thought it was pretty fun, man. I mean, like, it was certainly hard trying to fish with these fish with, like, real like artificial lures you know but after that guy shout out to you guy for giving me like suckers dude i started smashing bro you know i i did start this video by saying i wasn't gonna use live bait you know but it's a totally different thing you know i mean some people may think that using live bait is like cheating or whatever but like dude fish eat man it's just it's just fishing you know some people catch and eat bass you know so there's no tripping to it, you know. But anyways, guys, um, not much to talk about. Ice fishing is soon. I saw some lakes freezing. I can't wait for that. So stay tuned to, to some uh, ice fishing videos. But I am beat. I am exhausted. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.